Watch you guys got another video on the best free disk backup and cloning software suite that you can use today. Now we all know that a lot of people used to use Macarim Reflect, but they don't support the free version anymore. So if you're looking for another free alternative that does everything that Macarim Reflect used to do, then look no further. I'm going to show you a piece of software that you can use that was going to allow you to back up all of your data or even make system backups. You can download Hassiel software. This is a free software that you can use. They've got backup and cloning suite right here. We're going to use the backup suite. You see me make a video on the disk cloning suite here, but we're going to take a look at the backup suite this time, which has all of the features in one software. So let's go ahead and click on this and then we're going to download it for free. This also allows you to do system backup and restore, disk partition backup and restore, file backup and restore, system clone, disk clone and partition clone and a lot more. We're going to go through all of this in this video and I'll show you some of the features that this software has to offer. It also does a lot of different things like incremental and differential and full backups as well, which is a useful feature. It's got a load of useful tools inside here as well, which you can use. And I'll show you some of these in the video. So let's go ahead and download this and get it installed on the system. So let me go ahead and quickly install the software. Now, like I said, this is totally 100% free to use. You don't have to pay anything. There's no pop-ups or ads in this particular software. So you can see it looks very simple to use. We're going to quickly say no here, and we can do this a little bit later on. So let's go ahead. Now we've got a new backup. This is going to create uh, your first backup task. And then we can also uh, browse our image to restore, restore windows disks or partitions from an image file. Next in the backup section here, we've got system backup to backup currently running windows to an image file. We also got disk partition backup to backup disks or partitions to an image file. And then we have file backup, which is going to backup files and folders to an image file as well. Also on the next tab down, there's another tab here which makes it nice and easy to navigate. This one is the restore tab, select a task to restore. We don't have one yet, but we will do. And we have browse an image to restore, restore windows disks and partitions from an image file. Now we have system clone, clone the current running windows to another disk or disk clone, clone one disk to another disk. And then we have partition clone to clone one partition to another location. Next, we got the section here, which is the tool section. We've got the emergency disk, which is something that you should consider making just in case you need to boot to it to back up and restore your files. We've got add a boot menu. We also have import and export tasks, mount and mount images, and also merge images, rebuild MBR, wipe drive, and check image and we also have some other stuff here as well which is view logs and repair vss down on the free tools we have portable windows creator and free data recovery software as well if you want to see any of this stuff in other videos let me know so let's go ahead and create a new backup we've got a choice like we've already gone through here for this video i'm just going to quickly create a file backup backup files to a location so let's go ahead and choose a backup that we want to do here because this is going to be the quickest thing for me to show you. So we're going to go down and choose an option here to back up. You can back up quite a bit of stuff here. So whether you've got stuff in your my music, my pictures, my videos, or whether you have stuff in documents and things like that, you can back all this stuff up here. So I'm going to choose a location to back up to, and this is to an external drive. So I'm going to choose a folder here. Let me just create one, call this backup. And then we can give this a date so we know when we created this backup. This is just going to be a backup of some files and folders that we have. And this way we can restore these whenever we need to. Also, you can back up your system if you wanted to to a, an external drive if you want. So now we've selected that uh, destination. So we've got our folder that we want to back up and we've now got the destination. From here, we can go to backup options. We've got the compression. We've got automatic but there's some other ones here that you can customize. You've got encryption if you want to enable encryption and a password on your backup to stop people from prying into there. We also have command and this will enable pre-command and enable post-command. You've got your notifications. This will enable an email notification to when the backup is completed and you can set this all up inside here. 
And then you've got your advanced to allow comments when manually executing the backup task and check the integrity of the backup image file on completion. You could do a quick image check, which I'd advise you to do to make sure the backup has gone successfully. Here you can change the default behavior of the backup button to incremental, differential or full. You can read up about that if you don't understand what that means or I can cover that in another video. Next to the backup options, we have backup uh, schedules where we can set a backup schedule for us. So you can do a backup schedule by adding one here. And here we can set this to one time and you can set the date and the time right here. So this is a one time deal and we have the time right here when you want it to start. You also got daily here and you also have weekly, monthly and event trigger. So how you want to set your uh, schedule up, you can do here and you can set it up for incremental, full or differential. And there's an option to run only once a day. So if you want to set up a schedule, this is where you can set it up. And this way it will do it automatically in the background whenever you set yours up and how you set it up. Start, finish and interval time. There's all sorts of stuff on here, how you can set yours up to the way you'd like. So I'm going to come out of here and uh, what we're going to do is click OK here. And under this section, you can say image retention policy. You can have full incremental and differential and always retain the first backup. You can have this set here. I'm going to cancel out this because I'm not going to set up a scheduled backup. And all we need to do now is click on proceed. So now this is done, it's going to do an estimated time remaining for the backup. And it's now going to start to back up all of the options we selected in our backup selection. So let's go ahead and let this finish off. It shouldn't take too long because I only selected a few folders. So we're going to let this go through. And once this is done, it's going to do a quick image check, which is like a verify of that image to make sure the backup has gone through properly and that we have an image that we can restore from if we need to. So I'll let this finish off and speed the process up. And now it's going to go through its quick check here. And again, once this is done, you can see the operation completed successfully. We've now completed our first backup of our files and folders. You can also do system backups and disk partition backups as well if you want to. So if you want to back up your system, you can do. Now you should see the select task to restore has now lit up so we can now restore from there if we want to. You can also browse the image to restore. So let's go ahead and click on this one right here. And now you can see the file backup and it gives us the number right there. So if you want to select it, you can click next. And now all you need to do is select the content that you want to restore to. So we're going to need to choose a destination we want to restore this content to. So let me go ahead and select another new location here and we'll create an area right here and we need to put a folder inside here. So let me go ahead and create a new folder and we can call this whatever we like. So let's just call this restore and we're going to back up just like so. And now we can select this folder like so. And now we can click the item up the top that we want to proceed to. So you can see we haven't selected the files that we want to restore. So let's go ahead and check mark these and we can restore them. Let me select the whole lot of these like so. And now we need to do now is click on proceed. And this will go off and start to initialize our restore process. So you can see it's starting to restore our data and the operation completed successfully. So we can now click finish and we can leave that right there and we can go to our location where we restored it to. And you should see restore backup. And there is the contents right here going all the way down to the area which I backed up, which is my music here. And you can see there's a small selection of music right inside here. And that's pretty much it. That's how you can back up and restore content using the Haslio backup suite, which is the free version. Now, of course, you can back up whatever you like on your system. And if you want to see more videos on some of this stuff here, then let me know in the comment section below. It's always good to create an emergency disk. You can put your USB flash drive in and create a WinPE environment so you can use that to boot to and back up and restore content from there if the PC is not working correctly. Anyway, let me know in the comment section below whether you want to see more like this and I'll be happy to make those videos for you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. It's always important to back up your computer. Remember the golden rule of computing. Back up, back up, back up. Anyway, just big shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. 
and I shall catch you in the very next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.